What's up guys? Welcome to Dial Home Tech. As I mentioned, today we're gonna get started in going over five awesome recipes to either up your game or get you started the right way on IFTTT. So I'm gonna give you guys five, they're in no particular order, um, just five that I use or that I really like and that have really changed the way I approach home automation. If you haven't yet, uh, download the IFTTT app on either your um, App Store or your Google Play Store and then let's get ready. All right, so the first one on the list, we're gonna check out how to sync your Alexa shopping list to your iOS reminders. So what this does is every time that you add something to your Alexa shopping list, it syncs up with your iOS reminders. So if you're around the house and you remember that you have to get anything at the store or at Amazon or whatever else, uh, you can just simply ask Alexa to add something to the shopping list. And what that'll do is it'll actually add that particular entry in sync with your iOS reminders. So all you have to do is just open your iPhone um, or your iOS device and then take a look at your reminders and there's gonna be a sync between what you added to the shopping list and what's actually showing there for you. So if there's a shopping list that we're working on together and one of us just happened to go to the store, uh, we can always kind of look at it and see what's the latest on there. Um, go to the store, pick up everything and then clean up the list. Uh, and it's a nice little hack that you can share together um, and never just have the list with one person. We used to have to send each other's list via text or, or email or something. Uh, now the list is right there and whoever has a chance to go to the store can just take a look at it and then get everything that you need. So the next one on the list is actually closing your garage doors if you just happen to leave it open. Um, I am guilty as charged for just driving away in the morning coming back like eight, nine, 10 hours later and finding my garage door open. So depending on where you live, if you have issues with like animals getting in or getting through your stuff. So the way that it works is uh, IFTTT actually creates a geofencing area around your house. So as soon as your phone leaves the area, um, it'll send a signal to the um, garage opener so that the garage opener will actually close the garage once it has received that signal that your phone left the location. So um, pretty awesome stuff. Awesome life hack, doesn't let you forget the garage open anymore and solves a lot of problems. All right, next one down. This one is actually particularly useful for people who are like throwing an event, uh, maybe like a wedding um, or a party or something like that. So what it does is IFTTT will take your pictures that you're tagged on on Facebook and then automatically save them to your Dropbox account so that you create some sort of album or now you have all those pictures saved up um, and you can just kind of refer back to them if it's an event of some sort. So awesome for like, you know, uh, memory keeping and things like that. So it's a pretty nice little hack that you can use, um, you know, if you're having a big event coming up. Fourth one on the list, another one that I actually quite enjoy um, is actually you can have your lights turn on as soon as you walk towards the house. So um, very much like the garage door one, you can actually set a geofencing area uh, around your house so as soon as your phone gets to that location uh, the lights that you want will start you know turning on so um, if you have you know some smart bulbs this works particularly well with Philips heel bulbs um, so you can actually set the geofencing area you're coming around the house um, once you get to a certain distance the lights will start coming on um, that way you don't have to walk into a dark house uh, or you know you, you, you kind of let people know that you're you know getting there and things like that so pretty awesome and useful tip if you're one of those people that live in a not very well lit area um, just lets you get there with all the visibility that you need now the last one on the list is actually automatically adjusting your thermostat so that you can save energy and money without having to do anything so to set this one up you go to IFTTT set the boundary that you want to reach whether it's for a cold day or a warm day um, and then what it'll do is if the temperature outside starts to either heat up your house uh, or it starts to cool off your house the thermostat will act accordingly so that it knows to stop and then you won't keep running that inside of the house and even if you have like a smart thermostat you don't have to physically go to the app or issue a voice command to change something um, the IFTTT recipe will actually take care of that for you based on the temperature boundaries that you set. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys one more and this is a bonus one. Um, this one is particularly awesome because if you have kids or if you know someone who has kids, uh, you probably understand the struggle of sleep training them. Uh, they need to go to bed at a certain time, they need to stay in bed until a certain time, and this is actually a pretty nice hack that you can use that will assist you with that. 
So all you're gonna need is probably a smart bulb, a Philips Hue bulb or something like that. Um, a colored one uh, works best. So once a certain time hits, you can turn that bulb to a certain color. So with our sun, we have the bulb to go blue at you know 7.30. So 7.30 means it's bedtime. Once that bulb goes blue, there's no negotiation on playing time. It's time to go to bed. Um, and then you can do the same thing with the waking up. So if you want your child to learn how to stay in bed until a certain time, so you can set your light to either green or yellow, um, and then they know that they need to stay in bed until that time, uh, and they're not to leave until the light switches to a different color or goes completely off. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was five hacks on IFTTT to up your automation game on your day-to-day -day lives. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, you can also follow me on social media at Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at @dialhometech. We're still running the giveaway for the Amazon Alexa Echo Dot third generation for the first 100 subscribers to the channel. So if you wanna enter to win that, all you have to do is just subscribe to my YouTube channel and check me out on social media. Thank you so much, all of you guys who have been interacting with me on social media. It's been a pleasure to answer questions, talk to all of you. I really enjoy that. Um, and thank you for all of you who have been supporting the videos too, watching, liking, uh, subscribing to the channel. It's really appreciated. Well, this wraps it up for today. And until next time, I'm Dial. See ya.